I've been on it for about uh, two years, maybe. The concept came to me when I was saying, yeah. I mean, everyone's not interested in castles or fantasy anymore. What has happened? So I said, if I can't do it physically, I'll do it in this way. So I did it. Basically, I'm coming up with castles in this way, because I feel this is the way forward. I built Flintstone villages when I was a kid. I was playing with paper when I was 16, cutting little bits of paper and making furniture out of it. I have a whole collection on that as well, which is quite cool. A wish came to life, but it's impossible. That's why I went to study industrial design in Florence because of making this paper furniture. It's fold up furniture, it's very basic, but I thought it'd be cool, that's all. I was looking at Nando's formula of work one night and I was saying, this is awesome work. I've lived with Nando's work for a long time. And one night I was just staring at it, I said, this can be done with photographs, easy peasy. So I went home, tested it, basically on Malta Baroque churches. I told Nanno, and I remember this, I told Nanno, Nanno, give me a book on Baroque churches. He didn't have it, he got his ladder out, so he has books till kingdom come. He brought his ladder out, we went up to his library, he said, I don't have it, Damien. I said, okay, doesn't matter. I will go out there. I took some shots, downloaded some free images, and I made an amalgamation of a castle. Basically, you need a lot of heart. You need to see how it fits. What I'm doing here is basically using a base. And I'm building something to the top. Mm -hmm. Then the rest is just up to the individual to give it that panache. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm doing it by hand. I'm cutting out buildings and just giving it the basic feel and the virtual essence it needs. You know, and whatever's left, some image, some works don't come out good, but some works come out amazing. This is one of them. It's cool. I'm using a virtual reality here. It needs to be used. This is Zgur, and Anna Richard is star, star, key, key in my work. If you notice, the works are all basically, I mean, if anyone knows Richard England's art, it's basically the same thing, I'm just using the same, uh, a different format, that's it. It's cool, Nanu's work has always been cool, it's, he's got castles going on, and you know, everyone might I have got a bit fed up of them because they've seen them a million times, but what I did was take his work and put it in a different format and everyone loves it. it seems, sales are coming in. 
I'm happy about that. The, the thought of it, the idea, you know, I, I can't give you a, a, time, a, a time for that. The idea just comes to me and I say, it's, it should work. Day, it will work. You know what I mean? Eight hours of thinking about it, placing and gluing and hassling, you know, takes me about eight hours. But then I have the image, which is fantastic. It's a fantastic image which is cool. Then I'm done with the image and I just, it's uh, filed and I have it. And then I have the real thing, which is mine. No one gets that, that. it's mine. My grandmother's, uh, my grandmother's, she's uh, brilliant, she's brilliant. Nana Miriam is fantastic. She's, she actually brought something that's from another island in the east to this island in the west. Well, what are we? The west, yes. And she cultivated a new design, you know? All her friends love it, everyone's into it, all of us are they? All her friends. I mean, ask. They're all into this Ikebana, and she, influ she brought it to this island. My mother's another good star artist. She's um, into angels and things. This is basically where I, this is another person I've been influenced by. My mother was into angels and things. And I said, I have to be a bit different. You know what I mean? I can't. Look, when you're young, you don't want to be exactly like the artist you're influenced by. You try and say, okay, let me do something a bit different. If she's into angels, where do angels come from? They come from kingdoms. So I said, I will make some kingdoms. Uh, so devils come from, well, in this certain picture, there, this is a, let's say an inferno. You know, it's not an angelic picture at all. But my other works are very angelic. This, on the other hand, is something else. But as everyone knows, without demons there are no angels, so I had to do this piece. So proud of the exhibition. That exhibition made me, made me so happy in the, in the route I'm going. It just, you know, everyone's so happy with the work. I got sales in St. James, Cavalier, Nan Richards, Mothership, well, I can't say it's Nan, his mothership has done so many mothership. It's one of his great, great, great works. He managed to take a beautiful, beautiful broken down palace and turn it into something smashing again. And I give the guy a clap for that because, I mean, who, who can do that? Who can do that? Who can do it? If you gave it to some funny man he would have made it five years from now we'll have to change it again to another funny man to do it again nanu made it stellar he actually made it work it's got blood in its veins and it works not they come up with musa which is dead already because it's made out of plastic nanu richard made something that lasts forever how do you say uh, uh, there's a lovely saying by Aerosmith, he says um, life's a journey, not a destination, but he also says that how high can you fly with broken wings and Nanu managed to work with broken wings because I see Nanu as a very, you know, flying, flying I think we all do see Nanu as this sort of man who's a bit of a wizard. I don't know, the beard is cool, you know, he's always coming up with these things, you know? I think we all see that. I'm just saying it, I don't know. I think we all see it. I want my work to go into the Louvre and it will. Some of it will. I've already got some contacts, some people are asking about it from abroad, which is cool. I'm happy about that because it's new. What I've done is changed a few things, it's surreal. All right, I may not be drawing it myself, but what I've done is hassled enough to think up the idea, and you're not gonna find it anywhere else. I don't mind if they copy me. I have a huge portfolio. 
my portfolio is massive. My portfolio is about 2,000 pieces. They can copy me all they want. But I have 2,000 pieces. It's impossible. Every time they come out with a piece, I come out with 20. I have about 40 styles. Of course, this is not, this is just one. The sculpture I do, I worked with Andrew Diakono for a bit. And I like his work till Kingdom Come. I mean, there's a time limit till you get fed up of it, but his work, every time he comes out with something, I love Andrew. Andrew is good. And basically, I mean, you can't beat Andrew because, I mean, even if I had to continue, what I like doing is not copying other sculptors. What I like doing is getting a sculpt and changing it a bit. That's it, I mean, but, I mean, there is one sculptor in Malta, and I'm not going to take it from him. The best, the best sculptor we have is Andrew. America attracts me because it's new age. I, I, I like, you know, I like the Baroque, old style, Florence, Vienna, and all these, you know, they're cool. But I like New York, Las Vegas. I like the way they're going. I like the way they're doing things. It's cool.